Anguish, anger, and a community still looking for answers. The family of Shadi Robinson faced her accused killer today for the first time since he was charged. Then they picked up the search for the teenager's body. Maxwell Anderson has been in custody for more than a week. This morning, prosecutors revealed their case, charging Anderson with homicide, mutilation, and arson. Jenna Ray was there in court with the family's reaction and their plea to the public. What if would do something like this to my beautiful baby? She hurt nobody. She harmed nobody. An outpour of emotion from those closest to Sade Robinson. Imagine trying to bury your niece with nobody for the service. A Milwaukee family experiencing the unimaginable as we learn the gruesome details behind Sade's disappearance. Me and my family would never be okay. Police have only found Sade's leg, foot, and the clothes she was wearing the last night she was seen. We just want to bring her back home. Friends and family now taking it upon themselves to find Sade. We are doing another search party um, to look for my cousin, Sade. Court documents show Sade's phone was pinged at several different locations the night and morning after her disappearance, including Maxwell Anderson's home, Pleasant Valley Park, Kern Park, and Warnemont Park in Cudahy. We need the public to come out and help. We need a lot more feet on the ground because we have a lot of ground to cover. On Friday, friends and family spent the afternoon trudging through Kern Park in Milwaukee's River West neighborhood. We just need everybody to come out and help us. We're going to be searching all day, even tomorrow, until we get what we need. I need justice for Sade. Justice for Sade. Justice will be served for my baby. In Milwaukee, Jenna Ray, TMJ4 News.